Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Shalom Malosan. Firstly, we must inform you that yesterday the company that supplies us with news from Zimbabwe was raided. As a result, we are temporarily having to repeat some older content on the show until the situation is resolved. We are also looking to our viewers for news stories from villages, towns and cities across Africa. Please get in touch with us on the ATV Facebook page if you have any stories that we can tell. Coming up in the program, albinos are at high risk of developing skin cancer but are being diagnosed late. Coffin vendors are openly selling caskets in public due to the large numbers of AIDS and HIV related deaths. The offspring of some Zimbabwean music legends are continuing their family legacy. And one special boy is performing with his father in the hope of making money for his family. Albinos are at high risk of developing skin cancers due to lack of skin pigmentation, but most cases are being diagnosed too late. ATV News went to find out more. Late presentation in diagnosis is putting at least 10,000 people with albinism in Zimbabwe at severe risk of skin cancer. Many people with albinism, a genetic condition whereby people are born with little or no pigment in their eyes, skin and hair, are seeking help when it's too late, increasing skin cancer risk. Because their skin does not contain the usual amount of pigment called melanin, they are left without natural protection against the sun. And as a result, the number of deaths from skin cancer is high. Recently, ATV spoke to some people with albinism to hear about their health problems. Chandukuto daini ni kunyanya peku gara ndo uche kutangi sisa. 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 Mani nguwa ya kariba si mwini ni marunda. Angwa angwa tangwa se mwopo. Sana yiku fungo titu mwopo. Nisinga ziku tikenza. Sana yiku tamburona atu njiku fungo dami. Yiku kutichi njiku famba o 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 njiku famba some of these cancer cases could be reduced if people living with albinism have access to lotions to protect them against the sun. Skin yangu ya kubla maspozi, saka ndo shoo ti mungu mafuta, nae shoo ti daeta kwa sakuwa na mungu mafuta, utitu kukwansa upe, skin yangu yu itesha kanaka, isara mpeni maspozi anti nao. A snap survey by ATV in Arari showed that most sunscreen lotions were beyond the reach of the poor. At one farmer's, a bottle of sunscreen lotion, which lasts less than a month, costs over $30. Chipochara Kupa, a single mother, said, Most albinos are stigmatized in relationships and end up being lonely. I am a single parent. I am a single parent. In a bid to fight stigma and discrimination among people with albinism, the Albino Charity Organization of Zimbabwe launched a six-track music album titled Ziva Weku Uza. Chakaitika njoti taka garapasi eneva kuru edu wakawana shaka kujirati tinge tichikufoma chikuwa tachi chikuimba kuti tikuwa nisa kubatirana neva angwe wedu wa singa kwanza uzoti au binizi mchino chimbo richi saka isusu takatua tibulisa album ili Kutuwaan, apa muka terera? Vanpani masonsi aripo anu sana ngura mara rami rani tama obinozi moonyika. Saga ringori apa mroti kwenye sugu zisavan kutuwazi wote obinozi mochi. In recent years, people over the world were distressed and baffled by the spate of killing of albinos in Tanzania and other countries in East Africa for ritual purposes. 
Selling coffins in public used to be taboo in Zimbabwe, but with over 3,000 people dying with HIV and AIDS-related illnesses every week, coffin vendors are now regularly selling caskets in the open. According to Zimbabwean customs, it is taboo to display or sell coffins in public, yet coffin vendors at Makon Shopping Center in Chitungiza are breaking away from the norm. Coffin making in the town is now brisk business because of high death rates in the country owing to, among others, HIV and AIDS-related illnesses. The price of coffins at the shopping center range from $50 to $300 depending on quality. Panganaimo, a carpenter whose workshop is situated at the main entrance of the shopping center, said there was nothing wrong with selling coffins in public. Sakatanga <laughs> Pese <laughs> However, Chitungiza residents who spoke to ATV were not happy about coffins being sold in public. Other carpenters said the number of coffin vendors at the shopping center has been increasing due to unemployment. It is estimated that one in every six Zimbabweans is unemployed. Most people in high density suburbs who cannot afford to buy coffins from funeral parlors to bury their loved ones end up buying them on the streets where the prices are affordable. And so, as more and more people die every day, coffin vendors in Zimbabwe will continue to enjoy brisk business. Zimbabwe music legends such as Leonard Dembo, Nason Chimbedu and Ketai Mucha Waya may be dead but their music lives on. The sons of these legends are reviving their father's music. Sons of Zimbabwe's late music legends are following their father's footsteps by taking up music as a professional career although some are facing financial problems. Some of the legends whose children are now musicians are Simon Chimbedu, Ketai Mchawaya, Lena Tedembo, John Chibadura, Bikitembo, and Nison Chimbetu. ATV spoke to some of these upcoming musicians who have since recorded their music and are also doing live shows to revive their father's legacies. Being born uh, in the music uh, family, in the um, music family, uh, music grand in us, and um, my father used to inspire um, me. Um, Musically, educationally, he used to say, uh, you must sing like, um, like me, you must uh, dance like me, you must carry on with the legacy. Tekshua Itaim Chawaya, son to the late Ketai, said he would continue to follow his father's footsteps, although shortage of equipment is hampering his music career. <laughs> The Dembo brothers, Tindai and Morgan, also echoed the same sentiments. For every musician, we have to do Can also have transport, ne PA system, kit here. You find things very hard. Because Bonja Tango don't know you're higher, Monajana, especially like on our parties. Was. Moment we don't know one of them, but our instrument young. And I got an animal with that. <laughs> so instead of you, you know, I don't charge $80. You are just with the debate $200. Oh, 
Music promoter Parson Chimboza of Chippers Promotions commended the young musicians for reviving the music of the late legends. They've got a, a good future. Uh, but what I would like to urge them kuti industry atiri in order kuti isusuma fence to tell Ningano Gona. Let them not compare kuti Ndrugon of Fra artists Ningi, but Ngawanga Nishinangwa just like their parents were doing. Um, other thing I want to also tell them kuti life is no syllabus. While some of Zimbabwe's music legends may be gone, their music still lives on in their sons. Whilst most children are out playing after school, one eight-year-old Zimbabwe boy has been taking to the streets to sing with his father in an attempt to earn money for his family. We went to see him in action. Unlike children of his age, eight-year-old Isaac Gonora, a son of a visually impaired man, has had to forego playing with friends after school to sing with his father. To earn a living, Isaac plays drums while his father plays guitar as they sing and entertain passerby in Harare's busy central business district. A TV visited the two to find out more. said he taught his son how to play drums when he was only four years old. I think I'm going to four years. She can go to the eight years. I go to Rome, I was going to go to the She took a family, she took a street. I think she should have a chance to go out to the house, go to the street. She took an instrument. She took a room, she took a room, she took a room, she took a room. The two have since recorded a six-track album called Ruendo Rueupenyo. At times they get invitations to play at national events where they get to rub shoulders with the popular musicians. Daniel explains the meaning of some of the songs on their album which chronicles their journey so far. <laughs> Inonzi Machara Rengo, Reva Mukatime Muri, Vaberi Kutuva Sasaru Zavana, to Andimudu and Jumuda, Sakados and Akadar Machara Rengo. Also, we are check number two. Inonzi Jor, when you open your chayo, Kureva Mara Ramiro, Atino Ita, Pataka Pano open it to Chita, Kurita, Sataka, it was open. open. Track number, track number three. You know, the Tasurwara saying she was just one man. Whatever is so good, but usar waka taka itwa taka usar wa tiri wa tatu tiri wa tatu. Saka babado waka tanga kufanya usa usar nda ro. Daniel is one of many visually impaired people who have taken to singing in the streets to earn a living in the absence of social welfare support. The late Paul Matavire, popularly known as Dr. Love, who was also visually impaired, also built a successful career in music in the 80s and 90s. Who knows, one day Daniel may become another Paul Matavire. That's all for today. Please get in touch with us at ATV if you have any news stories by going on our Facebook page. Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening.